Good day, A. Today, we are going to finally be getting to our project with using the Raspberry Pi camera with the ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be our weapon of choice. We have the Raspberry Pi 4 uh, with the uh, dual fan cooling system with the pretty LED. We've got our breadboard breakout with our ultrasonic sensor. And now we have our new automatic focus uh, Raspberry Pi camera. So I'm curious to see how that's going to go for this project. I can definitely say it looks a lot better than the previous camera did. So with that being said, let's head over to the Raspberry Pi. And Alrighty, so let's get starting here. I've got Pie Charm all opened up here. Uh, what we're going to do is have a look at our ultrasonic uh, sensor project that we did. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to copy this program and we're going to create our new one. So I'm just going to stop this here quickly. That was just basically to make sure that we have our distance check here. So on average, I think 30... 35 is the lowest in there. So I'm going to use that number. And I'm doing this to check the maximum distance right now. Um, so 35.22. So we could go 30. Okay, so remember that. We're going to use 30 coming up. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new document here. A new Python file. And I'm going to name this one... Uh, pi, pi, ultra, cam, and hit enter. And then I'm just going to select all here. And copy that. And paste it over here. And now I'm just going to close out that ultrasonic pi one that we did. Now there's a few things that we're going to need to do. So since we are going to be using the camera on this, we are going to have to import uh, from uh, Pi Camera uh, import uh, Pi Camera. Okay. And if you have any packages, I like the fact that it will download anything we're missing. Uh, so if you're just doing this, it might pop up, like, install this package, and you'll be good. And we also want to go from uh, time, import sleep, and then we want to set our camera. So I'm just going to go over here, hit enter, and we're going to go camera equals... Pi camera and do one of these jobbies and then we need to scroll down to the bottom of our document here and this is where we're going to do a couple more things here so I'm just going to start right here and we're going to just do an if statement this is going to just allow us to get some quick results and later on you'll be able to add on to this kind of project by um, adding more things like uh, continuous snapshots, different things that you want. Uh, if you wanted to run a video, you can do that as well. Uh, but for this one, we're just keeping it as basic as we can to get uh, some sort of result and have the, a picture taken. So now, what I want to do is I want to go if zero and then distance is I think I might have that wrong we're gonna try this though we're gonna do camera start oh dot start preview and then what we can do is camera dot capture and that's going to go to 
our home pi the oh. pi and then desktop and then we're gonna save it as image dot jpeg there we go and then we can go camera dot stop preview and then we can do a time dot sleep and we'll do it for two seconds there and that's it one little set of code and we should be able to have this run it'll check the distance and when the distance is below 20 but we can actually adjust that to that 30 that I was saying there because the lowest is about you know I think it was 35 so we'll go with that you know we can adjust it we can do 30 oh 34 and then we should be able to run that so I'm gonna just minimize this for a second here we don't see any images here and I'm just gonna run this oh it's still running ultrasonic pi oh we want to stop that and we want to run this program here oh I forgot there we go now we should run it so we got distances showing up here. It is taking longer to um, basically do the checks because it's going through all the sleeps there. So we can definitely turn it down. But for this, we're just going to try this and see what happens. Um, we have it set to 34 right now. Uh, so if I go to my desktop, we shouldn't see any images here. But I'm going to just wave my hand close to the sensor there. And we'll be able to see if we actually capture an image. So I'm just going to move over a bit here. And there we go. We've got an image on our desktop here. And uh, we can definitely look here. So there's that 20 centimeters that we uh, were in that range, right? So we were able to capture that image. So now I can go ahead and stop this. And now there we go. I've got my image of me. And uh, basically what we can do with projects like this is so many different things if you want to make sure no one touches your PlayStation or touches your tools or opens a drawer or anything like that you would be able to use uh, one of these ultrasonic sensors to check every so often and then set those uh, distances for whatever you want like I said you can uh, use uh, the video output as well but for this one we were just doing a snapshot and this just opens things up a little bit more for you it's just a quick little easy process there and uh, just a little bit of code to get us going and uh, then you can kind of tweak it and make it how you want um, so this is just Continuing on, continuing on from that previous code that we used in the ultrasonic sensor. And we can change this. We can, you know, change the times the, you know, and the distances and whatever we want. And set our trigger points. And we can play around with this stuff in here as much as we want. And like I said, we can have it so... Uh, there is options you can do to have it uh, go to a different folder and then be able to take multiple uh, images. So it's going to rename each image to a different name down the list. You know, but I just want you to get your feet wet with uh, seeing a simple bit of code and go from there. Try create something yourself 
and uh, with a couple little parts. And you could definitely even use a, a USB camera or whatever you want to be able to kind of do this kind of stuff as well. You just have to change it to your needs. So I will get this uploaded to GitHub. If you have any questions, post them down below there. Um, if you have any ideas for any upcoming episodes of the PyCharm uh, Python programming, uh, let me know. I'm just basically showing you simple examples where we start with a simple project and we build them up to be more and more. So with that being said, uh, next week, once again, I think I stated we are going to be playing with the um, PyCar X. Now the PyCar X it is an AI self-driving car, so that should be a lot of fun and uh, we'll be able to... Uh, uh, see some uh, AI stuff with OpenCV, that kind of a stuff. Uh, but then we'll we'll come back to this breadboard here, and maybe we'll do some OpenCV stuff on there. I seen someone just today actually post about wanting to see some stuff there. So we'll start off as simple as it can be, and then we'll slowly add on and then build it up, and uh, we'll we'll kind of go that way. But that being said, I do have a few other videos coming out before that, actually, just to confuse you, of uh, other projects that I want to do. But I will be getting uh, going on that after those. So it'll be PyCar X, a couple other episodes, and then we'll carry on with the open CV. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode on... Uh, uh, PyCharm Raspberry Pi uh, programming, uh, this fun little project here. Uh, I definitely had a lot of fun doing it. I can't wait uh, for next week. We're going to do something a little bit different next week, and then we'll get back to our regular programming. We have the Raspberry Pi uh, PyCar X that we're going to play around with. Now, I only chose this because it was a robot and because we can use Python to program it. So we're going to step out of the world of... PyCharm for a moment and do a little bit more instead of just with sensors and, and the cameras and all that. So stay tuned for that. So thank you for watching everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?